Bats were somewhat demonised in research a good few decades ago now. Fortunately, some of the research was kind of poor quality, a bit of bias. There were confounding factors, so other elements of people's diets um, were having a factor. Different types of fats weren't considered. Basically, fats just were demonised and Recently, since then, I think we have struggled to recover from that. So there was this low-fat mentality and lots of foods became very processed and um, the fat was removed and the packaging, the marketing was very clever, suggesting low-fat is healthy. But low-fat suggests products have more processed and other things will have been added to replace the fat because fat does provide taste. Um, so sugars, artificial sweeteners and different things. And this... This kind of went hand in hand with the pro the boom in processed foods as well. One of the most recognised healthy diets in the world is a Mediterranean style diet. And this diet has lots of lovely fats included in there. So we have omega-3 from fish oils. We have the lovely unsaturated fatty acids found in extra virgin olive oil, for example. Nuts, seeds, avocados, lots of high fat um, dietary constituents in there and it's well recognised, well agreed that this is one of the healthiest diets in the world. So nowadays from the research created and made available to us we are starting to understand that not all fats are created equal and the processing of fats is something really important to consider. So if heat processing is used then this can change the structure of fats and make them more damaging and in terms of the body we understand how important fats are to many, many bodily processes. So in terms of your energy usage and metabolism, fats are a lovely substrate, a lovely source of energy to be used in terms of manufacturing hormones or cognitive functions. Cholesterol is also demonized. There's healthy forms of cholesterol, again, that can help with, with all these important processes. The structure of our cells throughout our body are built from fats. Then it isn't just what we eat, but also the health and the functions of our overall system. So the liver, for example, is very important for metabolizing and processing fats. And our adipose tissue as well, our fat stores are also metabolically active. So having too much or too little of those can be problematic. And this does also have a, an, a bearing on your overall fat metabolism as well. As always, it's often about looking at the bigger picture, so trying to get a balance within your macronutrients. So as before, if you take fats out, we don't want too many carbohydrates or sugar in there instead. Fats certainly have their place, but this all sits within the wider topic of our health as well.